What Sierra did is what we're all striving to do. Or shall I say, what Sierra has is what most of us desire. To meet a handsome, wealthy family man who will shower us with genuine love and presence. I liken it to winning the lottery as it is something that we don't see occurring regularly. It is so irregular that there are a lot of opinions regarding the Sierra and Russell Union. Some say he is too corny and others say he is just perfect. He definitely is not corny. And also, I know nothing is perfect in this life, so I will say he is as close to perfection as it comes. We live in a world where being stupid is glorified, where appearing tough means more as opposed to being a good person thanks to savage culture. But what if I tell you that you too deserve a Russell Wilson? But are you going to get him? I've noted a few qualities down about why this seemingly unicorn of a man is not only coveted, but is also considered to be rare to find. Remember when I likened it to winning the lottery? Now imagine all of us trying to replicate those results. But let's get into this man's most upstanding and attractive qualities. One, he is God-fearing. A lot of people say they are God-fearing, but their actions say otherwise. We can clearly see through the way this man handles himself that he lives by his faith and is relying on it to guide him so he can guide his family. Number two, he is wealthy. I'm not sure about everybody else, but I love a man who is a provider. This man is blessed with the resources to take care of his family. I would say this is what sets him apart as finances have not rendered him a nuisance. We all know that when most men get a tiny bit of money, they turn into self-absorbed, moral degenerates, but he has held true to his beliefs and values. Three, he is good at what he does. He is successful and takes pride in his job. Winning the Super Bowl takes work, and he put in the work, a true champion. He's handsome. Just look at him. I definitely don't know anybody ugly who looks like him. I've heard that the Greek gods are so jealous of him, they tried to keep his hair from growing, but they failed. He looks good. He smells good. He dresses good. A triple threat. He is family orientated. He takes care of his family. He minds his own business. He loves his wife and all his children. And that is an admirable quality in a man. He is definitely a good role model for any man out there who needs one. Number six, he is tall. Okay, I looked it up and he's only 5'11", but that is still taller than most women. I also looked it up and it turns out that when he stands on a pile of his money, he basically becomes a giant. 7. He's hygienic. Not a single crusty eye, not a single dirty fingernail, not a single ashy lip. Nothing. This is a man who knows how to take care of himself and always looks well put together. Cleanliness is next to godliness. He's romantic. He knows how to make a woman feel special, and it shows. Women who are taken care of have a glow that is evident to see. I'm sure along with the public displays of affection, he accompanies it with more in private. Number nine, he's faithful. This, I would say, is the one quality most women look for in a man, but it is harder to find than Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. A lot of women also mistake loyalty and fidelity, but they are not the same. And lastly, he has good morals. A man of integrity. Definitely the greatest quality of a leader. Your favorite could never. My conclusion, ladies, is that it is up to luck if you get a Russell or not. I'm sure we all know plenty of women who have been praying or manifesting for years to get a good one, quote-unquote, but now they feel they're out of time. Yes, you need to be prepared, as in you need to be focused on building up your life with things that matter to you so that you can stay ready. But ultimately, it is up to luck if you meet him or not. There is only so much preparation you can do to be ready and also find him ready for you. 
Take into consideration he might not be from the same culture, region, or religion as you. Men like Russell are born and not made. Take care of yourself so that you can be receptive when you meet a man like him, so you too one day can receive the love you so seek and be showered with admiration, respect, fidelity, a beautiful family, and gifts. If there was ever a version of black love I respect, it is this one. Here is to winning the lottery twice. Remember that which you give power to has power over you. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one. Please don't forget to comment, to like, to share, and to subscribe. And you are definitely welcome to stick around because we are going to keep this going. Okay? <laughs>